Getting the fuel supply to the new Chinese diesel heater on the Ducato vehicle is uh, one of the most straightforward jobs. Uh, you've got the uh, hatch there in between the driver's and the passenger seat and hinded underneath that is the um, sender unit from the tank. So the hatch is off and we see a cover with three screws underneath that. Removing the three posi dry screws and we can see the top of the tank and the sender unit and what we're looking at is the breather pipe here. We're going to tap into that because it's the easiest way of doing it. You can get the sender unit out uh, but you need special tools and you can't drill it in situ because one thing you don't want is swath floating around your uh, fuel tank. The breather pipe's on quite tight. You've got to take this nut off here and this is quite tight into the uh, hatch. So I've used a piece of cord and you have to pull quite forcefully. It's already loose that, but um, give it a tug or a gentle tug and then the breather comes out and you can see down there into the uh, fuel in the tank. So first thing to do when you take the breather pipe out is uh, stuff a rag in the hole in the top of the tanks to stop any muck getting in because you don't want any dirt or contamination in there. Um, what we're going to do now is the top of the breather pipe in situ I'm going to drill a hole in there to take the new pickup pipe. Now this isn't the one that came with the kit. This is the one that came with the kit. So you can see that's a bit not suitable really. So I got this one, it was a few pounds off eBay. And I've put a bigger O-ring on there so I'll take the original little one off and just uh, have the the thicker o-ring there and that will sit into the top of the breather pipe the new hole is going to go on the top there you can see it's quite flat on the top but the pipe just difficult to show you with one hand or go the actual hole in the top or go slightly off center to accommodate the uh, top bend there this breather pipe can put up quite a fight so I've clamped it and I've marked it on the top there where I'm going to drill it. So it'll be a six milli hole. And it's just, if you're looking on the top of the tube, it's just off centre towards the uh, rest of the pipe. Just drilled that six milli hole in the top of there now, quite neat. And made sure all the swarfs out. You can have a look there nice and clean so no contamination there just trying the new pickup pipe for length down the hole the pickup pipes too long so I marked it off there where my finger is and we need to trim it to length we don't want the pickup pipe to go right to the bottom of the tank so we'll probably give it half an inch or an inch clearance of the bottom of the tank. So we'll adjust the length of the pickup pipe now to uh, just sit proud of the bottom of the tank. Looking at this length now, it's about 105 millimetres I need to cut off the bottom. So that black mark there equates to the top of the sender unit there which is the bottom of the flange on here. So if I cut that length off the bottom, 
and then you add it to the height of the breather pipe bend that should give you that that amount of clearance at the bottom of the tank which uh, should be enough okay so there's the breather pipe back in place now and the new pickup pipe is in position I'll put that cover on the end of the pipe stop and it won't get in uh, the don't over tighten this because you'll crush the o-ring and it's a little bit fiddly to get the nut onto the uh, back of the pipe but I use these uh, long nose pliers here and uh, it went okay.